Hey folks, Wes here. Cheers. Uh, so as you can see from the title of this video, this is going to be the, a video about my trip to uh, Bananas Music in St. Petersburg, Florida. I uh, actually got a t-shirt here. So, Bananas Music uh, is probably one of the largest independent uh, record stores in Florida, I would imagine. Uh, definitely as far as, as vinyl is concerned, they have, uh, they have a lot of vinyl. Uh, so, uh, they're in St. Petersburg, Tampa area, and uh, they have a retail store which has both uh, has vinyl, CDs, DVDs, you know, uh, uh, equipment, stuff like that. Uh, very large retail space where they have that. And then they also have a record warehouse, which is, uh, it's it's basically that. It's a warehouse in an industrial district. Uh, it's about a mile from the store. So if you're going to one, you might as well go to the other. And uh, it's it's just a huge warehouse, and it's all records. They, they say there's around 2.5 million records there. And, and I would I would agree it's a, it's a pretty big place. Um, actually have a video which I'll drop in. I guess I'll drop in a video now I took at the warehouse just uh, of the upstairs. There was also a downstairs area that I didn't take any footage of. Um, just to just to give you an idea of what it looks like here. So uh, check this out. Okay, so that was pretty cool. Like I said, that was just the uh, the uh, upstairs portion, the main portion. The downstairs was sort of, uh, I think it was like unorganized sort of stuff that they had they had brought in. Uh, they hadn't had a chance to sort through and whatnot. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, it was a really cool place. Uh, really, really clean operation everything was organized really well once you know once it had been once it had been shelved and whatnot it was uh, well organized and they had sort of a separate area where they were doing some online sales so they were they had a really really well done or operation where they were really uh, really neat it would be it would be interesting to sort of work there and get to know the place better and see how they how they do how they decide what goes online and what gets sold in the stores and how all that happens sort of behind the scenes and everything really really cool place uh, so yeah we'll start out with what I bought at the the retail store uh, the retail store had sort of a, a main sort of section where but the CDs and the, the sort of the higher priced vinyl was 
and it was it was spread out. Uh, the, the CDs and DVDs were sort of in the middle of the store, and then all around the outer edges of the store are are the vinyl, and they just had they had they had a lot of vinyl at the retail store as well. I mean, you'd go look for a certain album, you know, you'd go uh, look for you know any 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 popular popular album you would go and they would have you know five to ten copies of it there to choose from um, and and you know they were priced as so they 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 knew they it's a, it's obviously that yeah, it's obvious that they know the the business quite well you're not gonna you're not gonna get any deals there you're not gonna you know you're not gonna find really great deals but if you're looking for something specific specific uh it's very likely you're going to find it there um like i said they just had a huge amount of stock and you know like i said you're it's likely you're going to find it there and there's a good chance you're going to have your choice between at least two or three copies of that particular album to choose from um so that's that's really neat uh i, I didn't really know what to expect in advance i sort of had a I sort of was overwhelmed by it all, but uh, I had a really good time. I uh, did, didn't get a chance to dig through as much as I wanted to just because we were on a time time schedule. We had to get over to Orlando by 5 o'clock, so I only had a few hours to dig at each place. Uh, but the first... The, uh, the, the, the retail, I'll talk, keep talking about the retail store. Uh, they have a, a back room that's dollar records, and then they have some higher price that are between their dollar ninety nine or two ninety nine, um, which was really neat, really fun to dig back there. So the first thing I got back in the back in the cheaper section was a, uh, was a Cindy Lauper's True Colors. This is an upgrade. I actually had this off to the side. It says. Uh, Warped replace, so I had a warped copy of it. So I found this for two ninety nine. Definitely glad, glad to grab that. And then a really nice copy of Belafonte Sings of the Caribbean. So for a buck, this was in the dollar bin. This was the only thing I pulled out of the dollar bin. I probably spent more time than I should have in the dollar bin. Those were, those records were just there was a lot of junk there. Uh, I should have spent more time in the uh, in the dollar ninety nine to two ninety nine bins. They had I only went through maybe a tenth of it. It was they had, they just had so many records there. So uh, that was that was that. And then the main part of the store where the higher price stuff was, um, I got a copy of Genesis's. And then there were three uh, really nice clean copy of this. I have two copies of this already, but both of them are kind of rough around the edges. So for five bucks, I got this really nice really nice copy of this, and I won't have to buy it again. Um, and then the last thing I got at the main store uh, was Fleetwood Mac's Mirage. Don't know anything about this album. It's from 82, so it's late Fleetwood Mac. And I just thought I would grab it. This one was five bucks as well. Really neat. So yeah, moving on, uh, went, went over to the, the warehouse, uh, which you saw in the video earlier. Spent a lot of time over there. That place is really overwhelming. You go look for like, I was like, I'm looking for a a copy of the Beatles White Album from the '80s, the purple label, capital one. So I went to the, I, you know, I went to the Beatles section, went to where the White Albums were, and they probably had at least ten copies of the White Album there. Um, maybe I'll try to drop in that I went to like Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, and they have like fifteen or twenty copies of Tarkus sitting there it's just it's a crazy place uh, see yeah, I actually did they didn't have a copy of the purple label capital one so I didn't get that I uh, picked up a few things here we got super tramps famous last words uh, this is from 82 as well that was five bucks and this one has the uh, Printed on the inside here. Some scissors. I don't know if you can see that or not. But that was a cool. I didn't have some later eight, later uh, Super Tramp albums, so I grabbed those. Uh, grabbed a copy of Talk Talks. It's my life. 
definitely was looking at a lot of 80s kind of stuff. Uh, I looked at Thompson Twins. They didn't have anything I didn't already have there. Um, what else did I look at? That was 80s. Um, I looked at Art of Noise. I don't, I don't know. I probably should have bought... They had several different Art of Noise albums that I didn't have, and I just didn't buy any of them. Um, I probably should have. But, you know, it's it's there if I want to go back. It's not like I won't be able to go back there again. Uh, just really cool to be able to go to a certain artist and see, like, multiple copies of every album they have. Um, next up we get Alpha Vills Forever Young. Definitely a... Very much wanted album for me. This one was eight bucks. Very nice copy of that. And the last thing I bought there was uh, Super Tramp's Brother, Where Are You Bound? This is from 86, I think. 85. Uh, so again, later Super Tramp, I haven't heard it yet. I don't know if it's anything or not. Uh, and that was five dollars. See, I tended, I didn't spend a lot of money. There was some there were some things there that were, you know, 30, 40, 50, 60 bucks that I wanted to get. Um, some some Dylan stuff, that, like that Dylan box, the Biograph box. They, they had like five, six copies of that. <laughs> it's just it's just crazy that multiple copies of things that they had. And it's just, it's you know, things, things that if you found in a record store, it would be, oh, wow, this is rare. And they, they have multiple multiple copies of things so really cool place definitely if you're in the central florida area visiting or if you live in the central florida area it's a must it's a must visit place um and like i said they're both they're both a mile apart so if you go to one you might as well go to the other um and if you're if you're in the vci definitely say plan on spending an entire day if not more doing that um so yeah, really cool place, Bananas Music. I will be going, I will definitely be going back. Um, now that I have sort of an idea of what it's like, I can sort of plan things better and figure out, you know, I know how the, I know how the stores are laid out and I know how to find things better and I know sort of what, what I can look for there and what I can't. So yeah, it was just a cool sort of an exploratory trip. Uh, just uh, something I wanted to do for my birthday and like, you know, as you see, I didn't spend much. I think the, the most expensive thing I bought was this T-shirt. So, um, yeah, cool place. Been his music. Check it out. And uh, thanks for watching, VC. Cheers. See you again soon.